All right, here we go. Question number one from our 1316 homework number four in my lab math. They want us to solve the equation on the interval from zero to two pi. And so over here, I've written my equation down that we're going to try to solve for theta. First step is to bring the plus four to the other side which will turn that into minus four, and that'll give us two sine theta equals one. Next step is to get rid of the coefficient of the trig function, so we're gonna have to divide both sides by two, and that's gonna give us sine theta equals a half. Now at this point, I want you to notice that we do have the trig function isolated, and we're solving this equation on the interval from 0 to 2 pi, so that means within one revolution of the unit circle, we are looking for all of the angles theta that have a y-coordinate of a half. That's basically what this means. If sine theta equals a half, then the y-coordinate in the unit circle has to be a half. So where does that occur? Where is y positive half? Well, one of the solutions is going to be at pi over 6. And we need y to be positive half. Here's another angle that has y positive half. So there are going to be two solutions to this equation, two angles that satisfy the condition. So theta will be pi over six and phi pi over six. Now, if I stop there, I would be cheating you out of some learning. So we're gonna look at how we can verify this result with Desmos, okay? So again, we want to know where sine theta, in this case, sine of x, is equal to a half between zero and two pi, okay? So this restricts the graph to go from zero to two pi, and we want to know where is this equal to a half? So we can type in y equals a half, and that's gonna show us that there are two points where the sine wave is at a height of a half. And those solutions are pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. So that's how you can verify this result with Desmos. And now to check with my lab math. The solution set is pi over 6. Don't forget to separate your answers with a comma. And 5 pi over 6. And we're done. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.